Hello and welcome back. This is video number three and we are going to discuss the email course formula. So this video is going to be fairly quick. The goal of this is kind of give you a brief overview of the breakdown of the email follow up series. So it's going to first start out with the welcome email. So you're just going to give them the actual webinar replay. And this is what they are going to sign up for. So they are going to expect this. So they're going to want it right away. So you definitely want to deliver what you promise so that you gain their trust. Now, they're not going to initially buy and some may, some may not, but the majority of people will not buy just at the welcome email. You're going to have to build and gain their trust over a course of time. Now, this is where the benefit angle one, benefit angle two, and of course, there are other benefit angles as well. So we're going to talk more about that later, but it doesn't really have to be two angles only. It can be three, it can be four, and it can even be five. If you want to kind of prolong it and just give people a good insight, good education and good value up front. Now what the benefit angles are is basically going to be different benefits that stand out about your product or service. In other words, the benefit is something that is going to have a impact on the prospects itself. So if you think about benefit versus feature, feature is something like uh, the light bulb is green. Why does that matter? Well, the light bulb is green. Let's say hypothetically, just make something up. Uh, but the light bulb is green because it allows you to, it doesn't hurt your eyes, it allows you to work faster or something. So that is going to be the benefit is why does that matter? Like, why does that feature matter? So that's going to tell people the different reasons why they should actually buy your product or service. So that's what the benefit angle is. And we'll talk about different angles that you can take that we have found to actually work. And then of course, after that, you want to kind of begin to close and you want to add some scarcity in there. So you want to add a countdown talk more about that later, later on. And then of course you have the final close, which is when you close down your actual email course. Now you might be thinking, why should I do that? When did I lose sales? Uh, you'll actually gain sales because people take you more seriously if you close it down. And we'll talk more about like how you can go about doing that, uh, what softwares you can use to actually kind of create a user experience so that it actually closes down. So we'll talk about that later on in the future videos. But for now, let's start with video number four and talk about the email swipe, which is going to be the replay and the welcome email. So we'll see you in video number four.